UNC Asheville alumni, welcome to the 2021 National Alumni Awards Program. I'm sorry that we're not together in person, but we're still celebrating in UNC Asheville form the great accomplishments of a number of our alumni. And to all of you, I hope you're having a great warm welcome home, despite the virtual need for homecoming this time. While I wish we were all able to gather in person, as I just mentioned, it's a special honor to connect with you virtually and especially to announce the names and a bit of the backgrounds of our very deserving award recipients. This week at UNC Asheville, we're celebrating homecoming under the theme Bulldogs wherever you are. Our students are taking part in both virtual and socially distanced in-person events on campus. And you'll never have a homecoming sports lineup again, just like this one. With all of our sports teams uh, functioning this spring um, because fall and winter play had to be de delayed. This week, for your viewing pleasure, our athletes calendar includes two baseball games, two women's volleyball matches, two women's tennis matches, two men's tennis matches, and a men's soccer game. Wow. Let's cheer for our Bulldog athletic teams this weekend and throughout the semester via live stream on ESPN+. To our alumni and friends, wherever you are, I encourage you to engage with us, not just for homecoming, but also throughout the year. And what a year it has been. I'm proud to share with you that last fall semester, UNC Asheville had the lowest prevalence of COVID, 19 cases across the 17 university UNC system schools. Our success in the fall was a campus-wide effort rooted in our community expectations of mutual respect, each one caring for all others as guiding principles, building on our historic close community campus culture. In a few moments, we'll share some incredible UNC Asheville alumni stories with you. This evening, we'll launch our National Alumni Awards program by announcing the recipients of our Order of Pisgah Award. Named in homage to Mount Pisgah, this award is bestowed on two alumni for outstanding achievement in their fields of endeavor. Tonight, we will honor Karen Brinson Bell, class of 1996, and executive director of the North Carolina State Board of Elections. And we will honor Dr. Sharon Davis, class of 1997, professor and administrator and leader at George Mason University. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll celebrate our very renowned Francine M. Delaney Alumni Award for service to the community. Amara Ghani, class of 2012, former journalist with NPR and current executive director of a nonprofit, ex a nonprofit organization, will be this year's Francine Delaney Award winner. Following Amara, we will celebrate Tiffany Drummond Strong, class of 1999, recipient of the Thomas D. Reynolds Alumni Award for service to the university. This because she's given such valuable commitment and hardworking effort on multiple leadership boards for the university and for her instrumental efforts to establish two endowed student scholarships. The culmination of these awards programs will be on Sunday evening when we will celebrate the Alumni Distinguished Faculty Award, Dr. Moretta Cameron, Chair of the Computer Science Department, who has taught here for years and mentored many, many of our alumni. Our final video will be to present the Roy A. Taylor Distinguished Alumnus or Alumni of the, Word, the Year Award to medical doctor and educator, Dr. Johan Nordenstam, class of 1991, professor of surgery and colorectal surgeon at the University of Illinois. Wonderful accomplishments by our fellow alumni, and we are so proud of you. Tomorrow morning, we will celebrate our student athlete alumni at the UNC Asheville Athletics Hall of Fame. We'll honor our 2020 inductees, 
former baseball star Alan Durat, class of 08, former basketball hero K.J. Garland, class also of 2008, and our women's soccer star, star Kelly Dawson, class of 2003. A special thank you for the support of our corporate sponsor, TD Bank. And this virtual event will begin at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And you can visit homecoming.unca.edu to connect to the Zoom link. All are welcome. In addition to our National Alumni Awards and our Athletic Hall of Fame, our UNC Alumni Asheville, excuse me, UNC Asheville Alumni Association Board of Directors is working on an award to acknowledge efforts and actions that advance diversity, equity, and inclusion. This award will become a part of our National Alumni Awards in the year 2020, a year henceforth. And you will hear more about this award and of course the first recipient about a year from now. So hearty UNC Asheville, congratulations to all of you, our very deserving alumni. The UNC Asheville Alumni Association includes so many superstars and those who've waged a really important contributions in their communities as the go-to people in their locale and as well as in their professions. We are proud of you all. Welcome, congratulations again. Named in homage to Mount Pisgah, one of the area's tallest peaks and the campus's visual center, the Order of Pisgah recognizes alumni for outstanding achievement in their fields of endeavor. Karen was a double major at UNC Asheville in mass communications and political science, graduating in the class of 1996. As a student, she held state-level leadership in North Carolina youth legislature, wrote for the student newspaper, completed undergraduate research, was a university ambassador, and was one of three chairs for the university's student and parent orientation program. As a senior, she was named UNCA Outstanding Student Leader of the Year. As an alumna, she served on the alumni board from 2000 to 2004. Karen Brinson Bell has served as executive director of the North Carolina State Board of Elections since June 1, 2019. She has worked in elections administration since 2006 in county, state, and national roles. As North Carolina's chief elections official, she leads about 85 full-time employees at the state agency, which is charged with administering elections and campaign finance compliance, overseeing the 100 county boards of elections, and ensuring voting for more than 7 million voters. In her time as executive director, Karen has overseen 10 elections, including the 2020 presidential election, which is the largest election in North Carolina's history and was held during the COVID-19 pandemic. Karen is married to Patrick Bell. Hello, Bulldog Nation. I am honored to receive this recognition and humbled that an alumnus regarded my work and the work of my fellow election administrators with such high esteem. Election administrators are not accustomed to being in the spotlight, so to even receive this attention in this moment is very out of the norm. Of course, these are not normal times, nor was 2020 a normal election year. So it is with great pride that I accept the Order of the Pisgah on behalf of all the election administrators across this country who worked tirelessly, without waiver, to ensure fair, secure elections and so that no voter would fear disease in casting their ballot. When I chose to attend UNC Asheville, I wasn't fully aware of what a liberal arts degree would provide. Mostly, I was in search of a small in-state university where I could learn who I was as an individual. And while I wanted to spread my wings, I needed the comfort of a more personal learning environment since my rural Eastern North Carolina High School graduating class consisted of only 80 students. Being part of the honors program and undergraduate research program, I immediately realized that UNC Asheville would challenge me to think and grow. The multidisciplinary approach in the humanities program and the intersection of disciplines through undergraduate research prepared me to respect the perspective of others, to learn from scientists as well as philosophers, and to never stop asking questions. Why do we do things a certain way? How can we improve? Where are we headed? And what does history teach us? My alma mater also fortified my ethics, which at times even pushed me to challenge the university itself while on the Blue Banner editorial board. 
from coursework in media ethics to the required study of humanities, UNC Asheville intertwines ethics in every discipline and builds the fabric of an alumni base that recognizes the need to stand up for all individuals, to respect everyone even when we do not agree, and to work in service for the betterment of our society, our community, and humankind, no matter our field of study or the profession we pursue. I recall Dr. Dwight Mullen saying at one point, far more eloquently than I will, that a liberal arts university like UNC Asheville may not teach a specific skill, but it does teach you to think critically, which will prepare you for any profession and for life. The 21-year-old who stood on the steps of Ramsey Library and accepted her diploma 25 years ago did not fully realize how studying Socrates or Wilma Dykeman would profoundly influence and prepare her to lead North Carolina's elections through a pandemic, but that has never been clearer than today. I became North Carolina's chief elections official on June 1, 2019. Nine months later, on the very day we wrapped up our state's first Super Tuesday primary, North Carolina also learned of the first positive COVID-19 case. The team of 101, one state board of elections and 100 county boards immediately went into action to determine how we could conduct an election in a pandemic. All the reorganization, team building, communication planning, and partnership building we had been working to establish were about to be put into motion like never before. Through it all, we had one clear objective, ensure that all voters could exercise their franchise without fear of disease. The outcome? The launch of North Carolina's online voter registration tool and mail ballot tracking system. The nation's first absentee request portal. A newly designed and more user-friendly state board website. The first time in our state to have an online ballot for military, overseas, and visually impaired voters. A Democracy Heroes campaign that drew interest from nearly 60,000 North Carolinians willing to work at voting sites. More than 14 million PPE items delivered for voting. 6 million single-use pins. More than 7.3 million registered voters. The most ever for our state. More than 1 million absentee by mail ballots cast. The most one-stop early voting sites ever the most hours of early voting ever. 2,660 voting sites open for election day. All unofficial results, including absentee by mail, early voting, and election day, uploaded and published to the public by 12.28 a.m. election night. 75.4% voter turnout, the highest in more than 100 years. Confidence of our state's voters based upon a Civitas Institute poll that found that 68% of North Carolinians think the election was conducted fairly. And in the end, no COVID case spread linked to voting. I learned in one of Dr. Bill Sabo's classes that voting is really about self-interest. He's still right. That is what motivates a voter to cast their vote for a certain candidate or issue. But I can say without a doubt that while self-interest may drive a voter, election administrators and the work of the election professionals in North Carolina and our country this past year was driven with only the interest of the voter squarely in mind. These dedicated public servants, my teammate, are why I could even be considered for this award, and it is for them that I proudly accept the Order of the Pisgah. Thank you, UNCA. Shannon is a 1997 graduate of UNC Asheville with a degree in sociology. Shannon and her life partner, Frank Hertz, have two children, Alexandra and Miles. Shannon currently is professor of sociology at George Mason University, also serving as director of graduate programs in sociology. At Mason, she was recruited to help launch the doctoral program in public and applied sociology. She has served as interim senior associate dean in the College of Humanities and Social Sciences at Mason and currently serves as faculty senate chair. She has won several awards for her mentoring and teaching excellence both at Mason and her professional associations. She received her MA and PhD in sociology from NC State and did postdoctoral work at the Carolina Population Center. Shannon has research interests in the creation of families and the negotiation of family life as well as the influence of gender ideologies on personal decisions. 
In addition to two textbooks and over 70 peer-reviewed articles and book chapters, many co-authored with graduate and undergraduate students, she co-authored a book titled Why Who Cleans Counts? What Housework Tells Us About American Family Life, which was published in early 2020. She has also hosted, mentored UNCA students during a career exploration trip to DC in 2018. Hello, fellow Bulldogs. I am Shannon Davis, class of 97 in sociology, and it is with humility and appreciation that I accept the Order of Pisca Award for Alumni Achievement uh, for 2021. I can honestly say that my time at UNC Asheville prepared me for my career in ways that I could never have dreamed from the multiple opportunities to engage in undergraduate research, from the opportunities to work side by side with university administrators as an ambassador in the Office of Admissions, and from my ability to serve as a resident assistant in housing. I had the chance to get to see the university from all sides, not just from the, the space of a student. I chose to go to grad school at NC State serving as a graduate teaching assistant, which allowed me to think differently about what it is to be a student than the small classes focused on liberal arts that was the case at UNCA. I moved into my career in 2006 after two years of a postdoc at UNC Chapel Hill at the Carolina Population Center. And since I joined the faculty at George Mason University, I've been afforded a number of opportunities to work with undergraduates and graduate students on, on the things that I care about. I study inequality in families primarily, but also in higher education. I've had a chance to work with our new undergraduate research office, we call it OSCAR, uh, the Office of Student Scholarship Creat Creative Activities and Research and to work with students as they embark on the same kinds of experiences that I had as a student at UNC Asheville. And I've worked to try to understand why it is that these processes of doing research as an undergrad with, with faculty benefit students so much. I've published with undergraduates and graduate students a large chunk of my scholarship is, is collaborative and certainly with my students as a part of it. My time at UNC Asheville was formative for me as a person and as a scholar. It taught me how to think big and how to think precisely. It also gave me a chance to meet people from across the institution. I thank you, the Alumni Association. I thank my fellow Bulldogs and I'm, I appreciate really and truly the mission of the institution. As I serve now as a faculty member at George Mason University, soon to be, um, as of May of this year, Associate Dean for Faculty and Academic Affairs at our campus in Songdo, Korea. I serve a university whose mission is quite similar, to create citizens for the world, to create students who are ready to be globally engaged in making an impact. And so I say thank you to my fellow Bulldogs, thank you to the Alumni Association. And until we're all able to get together again, once we are past this pandemic, I wish for you all safety and good health.